in Andorra because uh, that journey, like when we started, uh, we started as uh, the group in Andorra, we called, we called ourselves Momau. And then from Mombasa, there was Okoplani. And we used to do like uh, exchange programs. So we used to go to Mombasa and they used to come to Andorra. That's just for inspiration and sharing the same goal as in music and consciousness in music. So uh, then we that's when we call, how Okoplani and Momau came to match. Oh, yeah, wow, yes. wow. So, where were we to come The father's nobody is named a father. Man, see, Motoka is a father. Dandora, L O B E, Dani, ya hip hop city. Yeah, that's how it draws. Ah, Gabisa, Gabisa. Yeah, so I mean, now, now, now tell me about now the evolution of Kenyan music because, of, of course, since you guys re- released songs from back then and until you know, like, we evolved to say, any me hit until you left point, at least let's say five years. No, music industry will change. Nibany, Niaja will evolve, come a mau mau, ukipa up na industry, you know, Kumbuka, Koflani, Mukomena, my tours, Kutoka, Munana, my Jew, my demon to shoot your video, my to see here, my day. Some of them will know our lami, but do I say? Eh, I'm here. I'm not the other in Zumur and Sambu. Yeah, we are from here. Yo, you guys like really, really, really hit. I think it was just uh, the, the the togetherness that made all this happen. Because, you know, they say if you want to walk far, walk alone. But if you want to walk to go further, walk together. So, mm. and that gave us, because as an artist, I believe, like, a lot of artists out here are struggling. Because, you know, when you're alone in this journey, it becomes hard. Some... So, from the evolution now of music, from now when you guys were uko flani mau mau and um najua like five years from you know from when you guys were were really kicking music changed you know how did you guys evolve how did you guys keep up with the industry because it can't be an easy thing because you know with the hardcore rapping with the hardcore hip-hop najua and eh ama muliomoka mkatulia tu i think uh what happened is uh, growth you know let me tell you uh i think what kept us more ongoing was the togetherness the unity that we had and as i had told you earlier you know we had like a brotherhood ukoplani guys from mombasa would come to nairobi and they would come to dandora we would host them yeah we would live with them like you know and that those were the hard days whereby ama mtu akiwa na mbao ndio ile tuliana form unajua ili watu wa kule we were, we were in a deep situation and because we were young also and uh, it was a fuel because we were like me like me the first time i went to mombasa i didn't know anybody but i knew just to plan and yeah. i knew that i'll go nilikuwa nimekosana na mzazi yeah and that was my story what is the music ah tujawana tireda something something kala mashaka guys used to come to my place and you know they had this dreadlock eh wanaka hiyo your mom is like what you guys you're getting lost so it is one challenge it is one challenge so me at some point you know i rebelled and i felt like man this is too much for me i had i have to go somewhere where i don't know i didn't i just had 350 shillings oh 350 nikaenda nikapanda bus hapo town bus ilipisha 300 nikaka mm. Mombasa hiyo hiyo ni kitu siwezi sawa so, ukabaki na chwani ukabaki na chwani na sijui naenda wapi sina map na sijui hizo hakuna hakuna mobile phone those days mm. simu ya jamii hakuna hata simu ya jamii hawa hey. hey. but you know what The, the funny thing is the will when when where there is a will there is a way you know me me believe so cuz nilifika Mombasa sijui anybody then nikaanza kuuliza tu ma concord eh manzi natafuta wasi wanaitu uko plan unajua kwa sijui hata ni area gani ya coast then i got a certain guy after ku hustle hiyo juu basi ilifika 5 asubuhi eh kwanza nilikuwa kwa basi najiuliza that inspiration of togetherness actually and you know that's the only thing even here like without you guys being united this thing can't work out 
it's true, it's no? true. And that's the spirit whereby us we had we had that union that if I I can see I'm down today, you cheer me up tomorrow and then life goes on, you know? Yeah. And your mana is our record room. If you and your mana, you are together and you bring that much big uh vibe. Yeah. Mm. So so let me just change up things a little bit. I, I dropped this song of one attack on my and it's called eh, not to me but
my message hata leo nikifanya music na beat ya kapuka ama nikifanya na beat ya dinge my message still is the same the message you know, like, is still the same yeah the, my, the message is in the music so beat rooms za ku fanya pia watu kuna watu wanapenda tu kudance hata wasikilizaji maneno so wana, wana, so but me message yangu inapoka pale pale like i'm trying to awaken and give people hope in my music that's mm. all i do yeah. yeah yeah so now um now let's talk about now your current you know your current project briefly explain to us about your current project actually uh yeah it's been a journey uh i've uh i have now like uh this my fourth album i would say uh my first was uh called uh black jesus mixtape it was like a mixtape but it had like it had like 13 songs yeah that was my first project ever i did and uh, the next i did was called the spirit of the game yeah yeah uh, and the third album was ndio how which uh, it had like 19 songs which i did some collaboration with some kz guys i did some collaboration with a guy from the state now here i am i'm doing um, i finished already it's just i'm releasing i don't want to release an album as a whole i want to release singles first which, uh, it's called uh, key. Key. Yeah, the key. Funguo. The key. Funguo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to I'm going to like put you on the hot seat a little bit. Sure. Um, you know, in a way that your the, your uh, your stage name is kind of blasphemer, according maybe to some Christians, mm. because you're referring to the Messiah, to referring to the Son of God yeah. in your name, and you know, people might say that you're blaspheming and they're saying, Oh, my day, we wish him we are so Roger Kujini Ganisha. I mean, how would you deal with such a controversial confrontation if it came to you? Uh, I would say, like, uh, we in the Bible it says, We were all we are all created in the image of God, yes, so we are God. Yeah. yeah, sons of God. Yeah, and that's who I am. I yeah. represent him. Is a is a. I don't take it as a blessing. Actually, it empowers me because I feel like uh, I'm wearing his spirit. You know, because mm. he lived for us, he died yeah. for us, and uh, yeah. But Christians, you know, they they some some will say, oh, hey, why are you calling yourself God? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, you'd expect that. The inspiration that comes from that man, you know, anybody would want to. Think, uh, and uh, actually, it I I I I put my dreadlocks uh, when I discovered about the, about consciousness, and uh, actually I was inspired mostly by reggae music, yeah, yeah, especially culture. And uh, looking at him uh, back in the days, you know, reggae was considered a hooligan music kind of music, and uh, a lot of people we used to go to reggae jam sessions night cl- uh, reggae jam like uh, hollywood and uh, other club monte mm. it used to be violent you know but the message in which was playing there awkwardly was a very positive and that's how i came because i discovered a lot of uh, youths or people from the streets didn't really listen to the message in the yeah they were just going with their feet and that's Why don't you why, leave me alone you know, let me be you see let and, it die. <laughs> And so, so yeah, what happens is yeah. like people, reggae was violent. You know? Yeah, like, it, it was taken to be to be something ya watu wa ghetto, wa uni, unasikia msanii wa Jamaica anakuja, eh wewe wa thing is here, uko machupa za tupo ayo. Ni kwanza rushwa kweli. Ni kwa ni mama, it was a hot spot. So, yeah. Sasa hiyo 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 kitu mimi nilirudi baadaye nikaanza kusikiliza message like I used to write down the lyrics mm. so that I understand and i came to discover the consciousness of the music na kutoka hapo nikasema cuz warasta nilikuwa naona hata mtaani wanajajua vibaya like yeah wanaogopwa so mimi nikasema i know myself i used to be i know who i am and i won't buy to what people would think yeah not 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 buy to babylon type yeah 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 man yeah man that's how i got i got saved yeah you know and i think i've seen a a song in your channel that is related to a soldier or something like that yeah it's called story uh it's a song called uh story story basically is about the struggles of everyday life 
yeah, I, I hope my, my set DJ is queuing that song because I, I so want to listen to it. I so want to listen to it. And, um, you know, like, I, I love how you're so conscious about everything and you're so mature about this industry. That's what I'm saying. Sai, if you are not a musician, what will you be? Me? Yeah. Ah, me, I'm, uh, I'm, music has brought me to where I am, but, uh, Maybe I would have been a carpenter. I, a carpenter. You know, I think, I think he's taking this. You're taking this Jesus stuff way too serious. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> if you tell me your dad, your dad's name is Joseph. I give up. I give up. <laughs> I give up. Don't you? <laughs> Don't go changing your dad's name or, or on his ID and say, oh, you know. But you know, like I love that. I love that. And um, you know, I, I love the way you, you you're taking this industry. So now, where do where do you see Black Jesus in the next few years? Uh, Black Jesus, I see him uh, as a unite uniter. A uniter. Somebody who uh, also an inspiration to consciousness and mm -hmm. to wellness, you know, and uh, to give. Uh, give people to, to be a voice, you know, of yeah. many, especially the youths and yeah, try to try to create solutions, you know, and uh, this also comes in with the artist because I've been with this journey in this journey of music. And uh, I see that a lot of artists or youth don't have a chance, don't have you know, it's a struggle for every artist. You know, going to the studio you have to pay uh, uh, marketing your music, you know, if you if you're from the ghetto, you you, you don't have uh, what you call mapedege. Mapedege is uh, sponsors. Mapedege. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, who pulo? Can I miss here? What for you? What the advance at mapedege? Mapedege. Mapedege ni masponyo. So yeah. Man, it's a hell out. It's a it's a bad. I think it's killing the art. And even the government itself, you know, like, there's nothing like personally I see happening in terms of empowering or uplifting the talent, especially in music or advocating artists. Because now artists, you have to sing vulgar so that you can get, you can be in the mainstream and you have to, to do a lot of dirty music so that you you know people can whine and then which is not bad it's also a uh, need but we don't we are, we are not supposed to be forced to go into that direction because we want to be famous we want to to have gigs you know yeah. there should be a true diverse and this i blame also to you media guys you know media guys <laughs> wow i'm going in Europea, i say Woo -woo, guys <laughs> I'm a presenter, I'm a producer, I'm a station. I I'm a director. director. I'm a blame you. Ah, you where's my director? Hello. <laughs> you need to have a 50-50 of consciousness. And so let, so let's let's give all music a yeah. chance so that whoever chooses to go this way have a choice. But now we are just being fed on one side of the of the coin, you know, and yeah. which is which is making artists like or may want to go into that direction because they want to be famous, they want to, uh, some are doing it uh, so that they can, uh, you know, like get money to sustain themselves. Yeah. You know? Bahati, like now, is he was a gospel artist, which is not bad. Yeah. It's now, the music is, is not, I'm not saying it's bad to do, to diversity, you know, but because there is only one side which is more focused on. Yeah. And that's taking also, we, we have to remember. Our kids are growing, the mm -hmm. youth, are, so the morals of our society will come back to us. Yeah. You know, if our youths or our kids don't have a proper knowledge, what they see on TV is uh, all sexiness, and you can't tell that kids not to do some things, you know? Yeah, it's true, it's true. So moral moral is very, and we need the government to, to come and work with artists to uplift these morals of the, our society. Yeah. Yeah, that's why the crime rate is, is, is rising, prostitution is rising, all these kind of works are done. But maybe we are still also in the end of times. 
yeah, yeah. I, I, I get your, I get your perspective on this, you know. And I would like to, to actually applaud you because honestly, this is one of the most maturest and um, and very um, influential and educated interviews I've had uh, in Lioness Face Talk. So that's a very good thing. Thank you so much for coming through, bro. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, um. It's not every day that somebody just comes out and just tells the truth because yani umefungua roho umewaambia this is it is what it is you know yeah so quickly could you give them your social media handles everywhere so your fans guys make sure you follow this guy man and and kabla atupungulia na muziki ma muziki eh yeye anatupungia bwana na muziki ngine kali hapa na kuambia ni kali you guys man kama kawaida abi your host rock the lioness and make sure you follow me on social media talk to me on rock the lioness but they were pretty social media so i will exit issue in style my yeah uh, my, my as you look media, at the camera my social media handles are black g Z A S Black Jesus. That's uh, on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Uh, what is the other one? Instagram Black G underscore Twitter. Africa. Yeah, Twitter Black Jesus as Black, and then G Z A S Black Space G Z A S. That Black Jesus. Yeah. That's how I explain my name. Uh, Twitter. Yeah, like that. You'll find you'll find me on those. social like more than 80 hoods in in Nairobi just yeah. itself mm. and every hood from my research or from the research we have done every hood had not less than five studios recording studios mm. so these are all artists who who are, won't need support yeah. need help so we are starting a hood to hood uh, show concert uh, uh in the next uh, on the 7th of August we'll do uh, we'll be launching the show in high rise Nairobi west okay uh, kwa hiyo you are welcome guys come and support that will be on the 8th 7th of august august 2021 yeah this hey, year that's a very lovely initiative mimi hujanitia show huu mzee wetu anza beef sahi ndio nimekuambia hiyo but i got to teach you a little bit man i love your vibes i love your vibes man mimi nataka kusikia sasa mimi kunifungie show na ngoma yako yo 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 where my dj eh where my dj i black jesus in the building guys thank you so much for watching like i said so till next time man i'll see you Bye, let's go, let's go, DJ! Oh, oh, Black Jesus! Oh, Kila mtu ana story, kila mtu ana story, kila mtu ana story. Wewe sikiza yako story, sina time ya story, sina time ya story, sina time ya story. Wewe sikiza yako story, kila mtu ana story, kila mtu ana story, kila mtu ana story. Wewe sikiza yako story, sina time ya story, sina time ya story, sina time ya story. Sina mtu ana story. Sabu mamani no, toleagi matiaki pombi, tosani hako ribia deep breathing ndio chama na you see common heart breathing fast heart beating feel the pressure na jua the heart is thing ni kwa kwa rising kongalia sikwa si cheke ni as breathing situation rahisi swia macho tiraia rahisi na kusihi si rahisi kushipua heart living kila mtu ana story kila mtu ana story wewe sikiza yangu story sina time ya story sina time ya story sina time ya story wewe sikiza yangu